What's up guys, it's Electric Trilobite, and we're here with Tipcraft episode 2 with Morpheus. Uh, he's my oh. redstone guy, because I don't know poop about redstone. Yeah. So we're gonna bring you, try to bring you two things here, um, frame drop, and uh, one thing we're gonna bring you is uh, a bookcase trick. Yep. You see that? Yeah, we got a secret book bookcase thing, and the second one is going to be a waste disposal thing. So, yeah. Alright, so why don't you explain the bookshelf thing first then? So right here, the mechanism is fairly simple. Well, it's a concealed bookshelf because, you know, who doesn't see that a lot in the movies? Well, up here you can see it's an AND gate set. The bookshelf down here would top torches, which in turn deactivate another torch over there, which opens up a piston, or a sticky piston, on um, the wall right there. Let me give myself some torches. Now I made this out of bedrock since oh. people wouldn't mine into it and discover anything. And since the enchantment table is right there, nobody suspects, you know, like a secret door behind the bookshelves. So yeah, um, on a regular, like, survival, if you could do this on a regular survival with pr pretty much anything, wood, stone, Whatever, but um. So let's come outside for a quick demonstration. Uh, laggy. Oh, good. Let's so see. let's set up something like a four by three bookshelf tower. Now this is gonna be just the exposed mechanism, and it's not gonna feature the actual walls, so you can better see it. So two sticky pistons, unextended. And then what you would do is make a block behind one of the um, one like one of the pistons. You raise up the thing as you can see there, and then it would turn both on at the same time. When you deactivate it, it would pull both at the same time. And once you lead this to your roof, what you basically do is construct the AND gate, which I will simply exposed for you right now. Uh, would you mind explaining the AND gate again? Because um, I think you kind of lagged. So it's basically the charge will only get through when both torches are activated. In this case, um, it's when both charges are deactivated. Well, the redstones next to me are the primary charges. When you activate these, the AND gate is open. When one of them is destroyed, the AND gate turns off. Are you done yet? No, I'm not done yet. <laughs> Go away, please. Yeah, it's got some company uh, over. My seven, no, nine-year-old cousin, and she's leaving right now. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for that interruption. Then that's the AND gate. When you lead it down, it'll probably run out of redstone um it'll probably run out of power since redstone has a limit so it's best to put somewhere a repeater mm -hmm. yes and this is the repeater right here and it leads down to the mechanism <coughs> down and uh this is best used on a mount like built into like a natural um solid thing so you right, wouldn't yeah it's best to do this on the side of a cliff or a mountain since you can easily do something like this when you go inside. See, uh, the doorway would lead downstairs into a giant, I don't know, maybe a room full of chests. Yeah, they're not yet filled with items, but. Full of yeah. melons! Everywhere! Melons! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yes, and that's the. Piston bookshelf classic, what you might call it. Let's see. Um, let me get another shot of them upside up here. So the. And that's the basic yes, setup for the redstone. Um, for the pistons. And circuitry, if I could get up here, it's right here. So if you don't really understand redstone logic, um. Check out the Minecraft wiki. Yep. Uh, so there's not really much. Uh, not, not really much of a challenge. So the signal comes from down on this block right here. 
Uh, it would be empty space, then they put a torch, you put a torch on this block, and it would power this, will make both of these constant, which make these two open, and then it would send a charge and an open bookshelf. So yes, these things you can find more, find out more about on the Minecraft wiki, which basically tells you everything about redstone that you need to know. Yep. And um, as of the house, it's best to build it... Um, into like a natural oh, six blocks off the ground, not including the floor. Okay. So you'd have one row of uh, space for the redstone to go. Sorry, I just had someone walk into the recording. Right. Yeah, it doesn't seem too strange. Yeah. And the other thing that I just built into this house was um, waste disposal. Sometimes okay. you get things that you don't want, you know, and you don't want to have to, like, throw it in a fire, waste your food. So, um, there's a dispenser there, a glass block that lets particles through. So, what it does right here, I built a redstone leading up to, what do you call it? Here it's um, basically a rapid pulser. And then the switch outside interrupts this. Um, pulser mechanism and creates a constant charge which stops the dispenser. Wait, should it be pulsing right now? Um, no, because the switch is turned to the on position, so it's yeah. giving a continuous charge. Okay. As, oh, yeah. I see how it works. So, like, With it's. The switch off, as you can see, it flickers. Oops. And underneath there, I think it's connected to... Yes, it is. It's connected to the... Oh, so it runs under? Yes, yeah. So it goes here. Okay, so guys, so basically... Uh, the charge goes here, then it runs back, and then under to this down here, and then it, that leads to the... Um, get out. That leads to this dispenser, which basically... Yeah, this, that. this mountain isn't that well constructed, so... It's a little bit tight on space. If you got any curious creepers around, they'll probably discover the bedrock and, you know, wonder what the heck is in here, but... Yep, so uh, that's how the thing would basically work. Those are the two redstone tricks. And, uh, you don't, you don't really have to put it all the way down to bedrock, or to the void. Right, you could yeah, just put, this, like, a cactus um, or something. It leads all the way to the void, so for permanent destruction. But you mm -hmm. can always have a little netherrack and... Or cactus uh, or something. Yeah, netherrack and fire. Is so anything that would destroy a, so deep, a drop but, block? Know, the, the deeper you dig it, the more you want to protect it, because people are going to dig into it if they find it in caves or something. So, yeah, keep it simple if you want. So, was that all? That was yeah, all. Yeah, that's it. Alright guys, um, that was Tipcraft episode 2, so rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Shout out to Morpheus, he's a cool guy.